Hello and welcome to my channel. Well, the sample is getting ready to be shipped, sent to the lab for analysis, and I'm kind of disappointed how how thin the oil is. But we're gonna find out what's in it and so on. Finally, results are in for this oil. And uh, very shocked. It says 10,000 miles, but you see there's a star at the end. Superior wear protection. What is that supposed to mean? If you try to search any test results for this oil on, one, on Walmart website, there is none. There is none to back up. There is nothing on their website that can back up superior wear protection. So what does that mean, superior? Well, let's see what's in the back. Well, guarantee protection for 10,000 miles or one year, whichever comes first. And then it says, if your car is under the warranty, you should follow factory recommended intervals in owner's manual. So the company would even back up their claims. Guarantee protection. What kind of protection are they referring to? Is this means that my engine will not be worn out when it would have less wear with this oil? Guarantee proceed. They don't define this. They put all this fancy word in but they don't explain to you what they mean by that. That's the, that's the problem with a lot of companies these days. They put guarantee protection, but what does that mean, guarantee protection? Does this mean that my engine will not fail for the next 20 years? Does that guarantee that my engine will not wear out for the next 20 years? What does this mean? It's not defined. So it's open to repetition, however you want to think. Well, let's take a look at the uh, lab results. Very shocking, of course. So I'm very shocked. was not expecting this to be bad for the SuperTech. I was thinking, you know, guarantee 10,000. That means you can get 10,000 with no problems. Apparently, you cannot. So as you can see on the screen, <clears throat> I'm going to zoom in. It's abnormal. It's beyond normal and abnormal. You can read the notes. Uh, they say that I should resample and have interval. They asked. They said that if I did not change, they suggest to change the oil. Well, we'll look at the numbers. Iron 17. That's a lot of wear. For an oil, I followed factory recommended intervals for severe driving conditions. Not normal. So that means severe is half what normal is recommended. And look at the numbers. These are bad numbers. But what surprises me the most, their oil failed at, for severe driving conditions. So it didn't even last 10,000 miles. Not even close. Imagine, oil didn't even last severe conditions for factory OEM changed intervals. And you can see the, all those numbers. You know, There's a lot of wear metals. Aluminum, that's your bearings. Copper is your bearing. This is really bad numbers. When you see a copper, one, aluminum, that means oil is not doing its job. And you, you can see why it's not doing its job. Look at the, uh, the other numbers. So the oil is outside the specs long time ago. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and see if there is anything can be done to improve this oil quality. You know what I mean? Because you know it's cheapest oil you can buy, but I guess, Let's see if there's anything that can be done to improve the quality of this oil. Or maybe there isn't anything. Maybe just the, you know, quality of the oil itself. And people are going to say, well, fuel dilution is high. Well, it's normal. When you have a modern engine, modern vehicle, all the vehicles for today's modern with all this tech that some people love, some hate, you know, it comes down to personal preference. Actually, all this tech in cars makes the vehicle much harder on oil engines today much harder on oil meaning they 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 uh meaning that more the engine itself provides double the stress what it used to be in 90s question is did the oil got better since 90s by how much it got better there were improvements but then get doubled what the stress on the oil is doubled Engine ho engine horsepower doubled. Did the quality of oil double? Absolutely not. 
So do you see that the problem here, guys? Why oils fail in short time. One year or 10,000 miles, there is no way unless you drive in pure highway, no city. This was in my vehicle driven 50-50, uh, 50 highway with very minimum uh, warm up time, very minimum because I want to cut, you know what I mean? So to prevent, to save the money and fuel basically, less warm up time. And uh, so these are the results, you know, as you can see contaminants, what they say potassium is high. Well, there is no coolant leaks. Uh, you know what I mean? There is no problems with coolant. So who knows where the potassium is coming? But you can read the nose itself. So coolant indicator suggests point of coolant level. Coolant is perfect level. There it, it does not consume, it does not leak oil, coolant anywhere. So who knows where this potassium is coming from? But the results are here on the screen, as you can see, and very bad results, you know, for uh, for oil, didn't even make 10,000 miles. Didn't even last factory recommended intervals for normal driving. So this was done at much shorter for severe driving conditions. So stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe. I'm gonna share more on this oil. There's gonna be more uh, information. Uh, we're gonna see if we can improve this oil, like I said earlier. So thank you.